Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, um, today I'm going to show you guys how to group your measures in folders. Um, in this practice file here today, you can see I have some basic measures here like um, the sum of discount, the sum of gross sales, profit, and uh, the sum of sales. So, what I'd like to do first before grouping them into folders is I'd like to put these measures into a measure table. So just wait is done. I'm just gonna create a, a blank table here. Let me just call this uh, a measure table. Um, yeah, call this measure table. I'm gonna add the table here. It usually comes with a default um, blank um, column. So let's just move these measures into that column, into that table, and I'll change the uh, home table from financial to measure table. Uh, let me do the same for the remaining for the rest of the measures. I've moved that. Let me move uh, profit and the last one, which is uh, uh, sum of sales. So here now you can see that I, I have all of my measures into one uh, particular uh, table. Let me just hide this default column. So, so we're gonna have the measure table uh, going at the top. So <clears throat> here you can see I have all of these measures in one table. This is just an example, but in some cases you can have up to 50, you can have up to 20 uh, measures in one table and you, and, and you want to kind of group them in different folders. Let's say folders or category. Let's say you have measures for different kind of category and you want to group them into different um, folders it kind of makes it easier for you to identify which measure to kind of quickly fix the edges and issue in your report so um first thing first is you want to navigate to the model view this is the report view this is the table view so we'll navigate to the model view so we'll to navigate to the model view you can see here these are the two tables we have the financial table which is like the source table and we have the Major table we has all of our measures. So if you look at these properties here, if you open these advanced properties, you're gonna see the uh, name of the table and some other uh, information here. So same thing happens when you click on the measure. So when I click on the measure, you can see I also have the name of the measure, and you can see this is the definition table where I can I can I can as well switch it and. Another thing here that I want you to pay attention to in this uh, general property is the display folder. So the display folder is where you're gonna put the name of the folder in which you actually wanna see the um, major uh, categorized under. So here, let's say I wanna put this um, sales and gross sales into sales folder. So I'm just gonna call this um, sales. So once I do that, it's gonna automatically add the gross sales in, into a sales folder and if I do the same thing for this one let me add sales here and hit my enter button you can see that it shifted those two measures into this folder here this sales um, folder here so I'm gonna add another um, folder again I'm gonna call these orders so I'll hit my enter button and you can see the discount has been added to the orders folder and um the profit let me add another um actually this will be being another folder of its own so let me add this one let me just call it um let me just call it return let me just call this return and here you can see now we have three folders we have orders and uh we have return and we have sales folder so let's say we want to add another new measure to any of this folder here all, all, all we need to do is once we create that measure let's say i want to add uh, unit sales into that measure here so i'm just going to create a new measure actually let me see if it's if i can do it directly in the sub column so let me see if this actually works uh, new measure i'm gonna call it uh, unit sold and we'll call it sum of uh, unit sold 
and uh, voila you can see that works at as easy as ABC and you can see um, just by right clicking on the folder I can add a new measure and I don't need to like manually move the measure anymore so usually it's it's better if you create the folder first before you start creating the measures so that as, as you're gripping your measures you just create the particular measures you do a new measure and you add it and once you do that the measure will automatically fold into that particular folder and this does not appear only under the model view it actually appear on the report view as well so if i come back to the report view here you can see that all of my folders appear here and i have the orders folder we have the sum of discount and units sold and i have the return which has the sum of the profit and the sales um i hope this video helps you if it does give it a thumbs up and don't forget to uh, like also and share to your loved ones thank you for watching um stay blessed